Hey everybody, Mike Moreno here with another quick tips video. Um, so many of you um, have to, you know, in the course of doing work with BTFF, we need to use this event justification form. And for whatever reason, the way this form is set up is um, when you when you go to upload it to Abacus, it looks like this. It looks blank. I, you can't see any text on it. If you click into it in Abacus, uh, again, you're not able to see any text. However, if you view as a PDF, um, it will open up um, the PDF and it will populate the text. So let me show you how to then upload this version that's uh, loading right now to Abacus rather than the blank version. And as soon as this loads, All right, there we go. We have all our text there. And um, now, um, rather than downloading this and saving it to my hard drive, this file, I'm not going to do that because if I do that, it's going to do the same exact thing it's currently doing, where when I upload it to Abacus, it looks blank. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to print this and I'm going to select Save as a PDF. And as you can see on the print preview, everything's there, all the text is there. I'm going to hit save. I'll put it somewhere on my uh, desktop. And then I'm going to go back to Abacus. And I'm going to add that additional receipt. And there we go. So now, we should see a full preview of the entire file. There we go. So all the text is showing as it should. Um, you all don't have access to delete any receipts. That's OK. You can always let me know um, that there's an extra receipt on there and I can delete it. And in most cases, there's no harm um, to that. Um, as long as we have the valid receipts in hand. Um, so there you go. That's how you get around a funky uh, PDF file that is wanting to populate in Abacus blank. Um, so I hope this uh, video uh, serves you in the future. All right, take care everybody. See you on the next Quick Tips video.